Hello, hello. Thank you so much. I would love to introduce you first for, to my wonderful family, my children, and my husband. Where did my husband go? I want to thank my extended family, everyone in this room. Thank you so much. I've just called Senator Duckworth to congratulate her on a hard-fought victory. While she and I differ on many issues, we share the view that we need to strengthen our economy, make our communities safe, and restore civility to our political system. It is my sincere hope that she will be a strong voice on behalf of all Illinoisans in the United States Senate in her second term as our state senator. And I wish her well. acquaintances and now we're just like friends and this is this is what the process should be isn't this what politics should be meeting people heart to heart learning about one another and sharing a vision for a better Illinois and I commend each one of you and thank each one of you for coming and toilets uh, to working hard <laughs> to toiling to make it happen my heart is full of, my heart is thank you my heart is full of gratitude to my staff um, who are here tonight, all of our donors and supporters across the state who believed in me and who believed in us. Every Republican victory tonight is our victory. Yeah. Thank you everyone for the hours, for the resources, and the prayers that you put into this campaign. Not a moment has been wasted. Every single thing that we have done has built something that we will build this foundation for the future. When I entered the race earlier this year, I knew that we had a lot of ground to cover. And it's never easy to take an incumbent U.S. Senator on. You were never deterred and you rose to the occasion. I'm eternally grateful for your tireless efforts. I will always value the friendships and bonds we've built over this past year. My message tonight is one of hope. This is a time of great challenges for our country, and I pray that all of our representatives will rise to the occasion and put our state and our country back on track. As I said from the beginning, I want to make Illinois a state where people flock to, where businesses where yeah. businesses like this amazing place of our history, the Erie Cafe, it, there's lines going out the doors. There were lines to vote today. Remember, we saw that. I know that we all, those of us who've come to this country, maybe we're first generation Americans, maybe we're fifth generation Americans, as my husband and I are, and our little guy Michael here, seventh generation. <laughs> we love this state. And we've staked our tent here in Illinois because we know what a great, great state it is. It's resources and especially the salt of the earth people who are Illinois, who are Americana. And I'm just so proud of having uh, been, at, been at the top of the ticket and, and carried the mantle forward these last eight months. But our, our journey hasn't stopped, it has only begun. And as I mentioned... Yeah. lawn that's really needing a little attention and the grass is up to there with the weeds overflowing, you're not going to get the perfect cut on the first mow, right? It might take a few more. And I can tell you on this, this wonderful journey with uh, our great state chair, Don Tracy, who inspired last In the midst of COVID, he said to me, he said, you know, Kathy, we could just surrender right now and we'll most certainly lose. Or we could do our best and fight and work hard and revitalize this message. And what is that message? It is the 
whole American dream. It's what our forebears fought and died for. It's what Mr. It's what so many veterans throughout this state that I've had occasion to, to speak to with tears in their eyes said, Kathy, I'm with you because I know that you could turn things around. And it might take a few more years to do it. And I am so happy to be part of that. Our work is not over. Illinois and to represent hope, promise, and freedom that makes our state magnificent. I would love to introduce you now a little bit to my amazing husband, Al, of 34 years. my brothers and sisters. Remember, I'm the first and nine. So some of you have seen a lot of Kellers and Salvies on the campaign trail, but my mother, my dear mother, dad's not here today, but mother, if you could just take a stand and a shout. There she is. I'll tell you, mom and dad really taught us nine the value of hard work and when you put your heart into anything you do you get good results and if I could share with you a Bible verse that really means a lot to me it's Romans 8 20 I'm gonna get it right this time where are you Bishop Shondo okay. okay good, good. you know uh, Bishop Shondo Valdez and, and Scott Winslow but it's Romans 8 28 all things come together for the good for those who believe in God No results disappoint when you put your whole heart and effort into anything. You just might not be able to see how, you, how you've helped something along, but if we open up our eyes to Jerry and Lisa here, to Leslie and John, where's Joan? Joan, Joan. Lisa. Joan. There she is. Katie, Kitty, Joe and Kathy. Friends, there's Joe. Christine and, and Ray, you know, I, I, don't have my, I don't have my glasses on right now. <laughs> I can't see where you all are, but I can tell you, each one of you, I have I taken my heart and I'll maintain it in my heart because we've only begun the friendship that we've, what we've had and we, we're only going to continue to nurture that and build on it. We will continue to fight to ensure that our children have the same ability to pursue their American dream. And so with this, Let's remember that our dear Illinois is a state of limitless opportunity. We had an election which results came in maybe short of the, short of, short of the, the mark in this time, but we're not finished yet. And I ask you all just to keep hope, take, take hope, and uh, God bless the United States of America. <laughs> If you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.